Can the Asus Zephyrus M16 laptop run Photoshop smoothly? That is what we're going to find out in this video guys. So stay tuned. But before we get into everything guys, let's just talk about what are the specs required for Photoshop in 2022. So as of now, Photoshop recommends 8 gigabytes of RAM it recommends a processor of 2 gigahertz or faster and it also recommends a GPU memory of 1.5 gigabytes so that is what Photoshop recommends minimum but I personally I would say you definitely need a SSD you definitely need at least 16 gigabytes or more RAM because you're gonna multitask well for me when I'm doing Photoshop work I always try to multitask because I'm online finding assets or online finding like a idea or a concept that I want to put in my Photoshop projects so I'm always multitasking when I'm using Photoshop I don't know if it's just me alone but I believe that most of you guys will also multitask and for the SSD it is really fast compared to a hard drive so definitely check that out and with this computer that I'm currently using it definitely has all those stuff so let's get into the specs for the machine that I'm using right here so for the CPU it has a 2.3 gigahertz of processor speed and it is a 8 core processor and it's the Intel 11th gen i7 so it's pretty nice and for the memory I have 16 gigabytes of memory inside this beast right here and I'm definitely using a SSD which is around 500 gigabytes of SSD and it's pretty nice it's running pretty smooth ever since I got it and for the GPU, I'm running the NVIDIA G GeForce RTX 3050 Ti laptop G GPU. And that right there, I believe, is 8 gigabytes of memory. So that's pretty overpowered for Photoshop. So with that said, guys, let's open up Photoshop. It's right here. And what we're going to do today in Photoshop is actually edit the thumbnail that you're watching so the video that you're watching this video right here that you're watching i'm going to edit the thumbnail for it live right here so you guys can see how it handles photoshop so let's get right into it guys so i'm just gonna do a new file and use the dimensions so i'll go this one for now and remove that I'll do this in a timeline so I don't bore you guys. So I'll catch you guys right back when I'm done with this edit right here. Alright guys, so after a good amount of time, maybe a half an hour or 15 minutes, I'm finished right here. I took some time because I wanted this thumbnail to look really nice for you guys to click on it to watch this video. So with that said guys, here are my final thoughts. I was able to work freely using this machine. I was able to multitask. I was able to have Chrome open and grabbing and dragging image from Chrome and from my file explorer so that was really nice now for the export speed I'm gonna hit export right here and export as and do the best quality which is great and hit export there is fine and let's take a look at it and it looks fine so one thing to note when you're looking for a laptop for photoshop you want to have a color accuracy and what color accuracy kind of mean is like say for example i do it on my computer and then when i look on my phone it looks totally different the red may look pink or the red may look orange on my phone that right there will you will know that then 
there is not a good color accuracy but for this computer it definitely has a good color accuracy because what i'm seeing is what your guys you guys are seeing you're not seeing a orange for a red you guys get the idea so as i said guys this computer is definitely able to crush photoshop without any doubt and that's pretty much it guys hopefully this video was helpful for you guys to go out and get yourself a machine for photoshop um and you guys might be saying will it work in lightroom also yes it will work in lightroom photoshop is one of those more um task heavy software so if it, if photoshop's run then lightroom will definitely run on your machine so don't worry about it so i did some videos also talking about gaming experience on this machine um after effects experience and also premiere pro experience so go check out those videos if you're interested if you want to know more about this computer before you make your purchase but if it's up to me i would definitely give this computer a buy so definitely check it out but that's pretty much it for this video guys please consider subscribing if you reach this far you definitely like the content and please leave a comment down below let me know what you like about this computer are you planning on getting this computer i'll definitely be down there to answer your questions so comment down below feel free to comment down below but that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching until my next video guys i'll see you guys when i see you guys peace